You probably heard stories about me. They're not all true. Teabag is one of the rulers in the prison. When we walk into Joliet prison the first day I got there, it was like, it looked so much like a castle. So it totally fed me for saying, yeah, yeah, this guy owns a part of this castle. He's one of the feudal lords, you know? And uh, he protects himself, he protects his family, he protects, early on in the production, one guy who holds my pocket. Anybody who messes with that guy has got to mess with me, and everybody knows who Teabag is, and you don't mess with him. Trap, I think I'm going to slaughter. I have always tried to play him in a real charming way. The lascivious stuff, the dastardly stuff, that all sort of takes care of itself. He's an animalistic, pure, gutsy, instinctual kind of guy who will do anything to, uh, to get ahead. He's an equal opportunity abuser. <laughs> he goes after every race and creed. When people talk about him in sexual terms, I, I don't even think of male, female, child, whatever. To me, it's just like, it's meat, and I want it, and I'm, uh, if I'm hungry, I go for it, and if not, I don't. It's like a, a, a lion, and a lot of the psychological gestures that I put into it with the hair and the, and the tongue thing is all just cock-of-the-walk rooster or reptilian, or a lot of animal images that I try to mess around with. And then on top of that, to play with the language, the great language, the great words that the writers give me, and then the bonus of it being Southern is I can play with lilting and sliding up snake-like to you and then get you. Or I can go right for your juggler, bum, 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 staccato-like, and it's really fast. So there's a lot of external things going along with playing the character and a lot of internal things like backstory, trying to figure out uh, you know, how he was as a child. There's one episode where, where Bellick says to me, I read your psych report, Teddy. You know, your daddy did his sister years ago and out popped Teddy. And that was a huge uh, key, a huge door opening for me to what kind of childhood this guy had to what made him become the way he is today. <laughs>